to have you here. <laughs> that was, um, oh look, they love you. Thank you. That's, that's, that is, that is. I'm gonna tell you something. I can, I can not live up to that. We've had Olympic athletes on this show. Yeah. Usain Bolt was on this show. No one has exited and gotten to the couch faster than you just did. Really? Yeah, it is was that... unbelievable. Yeah, I've ha I often have that problem, when, particularly on shows where they want like some sort of like participate. They're like, go along the row and like high five everyone, and I'm like, I can't. I just, <laughs> I don't. I will, I will get it wrong, and it will look unnatural, and it would just be bad. You're very I've been speedy. on Ellen a couple of times. I've never danced. You never danced. Yeah. Always... I'm just gonna. Is it okay if I just walk and sit down? Um... It used to be that you. You had to dance when you were on Ellen, and then I think she decided that it was enough with the dancing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So you, when you go on Ellen, don't worry. You don't okay, have to run Okay, there's no pressure seat. to dance. You can All just right, walk good. out like a regular person. Okay, good. <laughs> so, did I run then? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no. Um, you, you did great. Where are you living now, Art? I am uh, sort of between, I'm mostly in London, but I've just done a play in New York, and I love New York. That's why you're there. walking so fast. You've been in New York. Is that it? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I, I love it there, so it's... Do it's you, is yeah. that your favorite place to be? It is. Yeah, it I think is. so. Like, I, I'm always going to be very proud to be from London, and but it's a great part of my... Particularly like, when I get to do a play there and just, like, live in New York for a few months. It's just, yeah. Like, it's a very, very How nice old place. were you the first time you went to New York? I guess 11 on 11 the first Potter yeah. film, on the, the press for the first Harry Potter film. Was the and first and that's uh, something that yeah. really <laughs> makes an impression on you. Yes. Yeah, well, also, sure. like, we were taken everywhere and stretched limos. Like, yeah, right. We, as a, as a, which is, like, the worst. why did anyone think that was a good way to get around New York on a press tour? Like, you're racing. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, give these, give these 11 year old kids stretch limos. <laughs> but of course, at the time, like, I was like, this is, this is what actors do. We sit in <laughs> limousines and the lights change colors and stuff. This is amazing. Yeah, well, yeah. sure. <laughs> it kind of is, in a way. I mean, yeah, there was a lot less of that as I, as I go, because I feel like at a certain point they were like, don't give them limos anymore, that's crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> and there's no slower way to travel than in a stretch limousine. Yes, yeah, yeah. really. So you are, when did you finish doing the play? So I finished a couple of weeks ago, uh -huh. uh, yeah, two or three weeks ago, and yeah, I've just been kind of doing press for this show and just like hanging around. So How many days a week do you have to do a play like? Is it every night? It's, it's every so night. six days a week, uh, eight performances over the course of those six days. So you'll do two, two matinee days and yeah, eight shows a week, it's great. Yeah, is that good? It you, is good. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's. I, I feel like I get better as an actor every time I do stage. I feel like it's like, it, it's it's. Even though it's only eighty five minutes, our play was only eighty five minutes long. It's still weirdly like tiring, and you feel like you've put your sort of work into something. So yeah, no, it's very satisfying. Then when you go to shoot a TV show or a movie or something like that, do you have to kind of shift, make a, a change because you're performing in front of a group of people, and then instead you're performing in front of. No one. A little bit. I mean, I think like it's basically the same thing. You're trying to be real, or you know, uh, and 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 you know, if it's comedy, then I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think much changes between TV and and film for me. Okay. Maybe it should, and I should be, you know, no. I'll ask some people. I'll get Whatever some advice. you're doing, it seems to be working okay. out fine. Well, thank you. You <laughs> are. Uh, are you an American citizen? I'm not. No. You're not. I'm like I'm fully Americanized in the you know. I mean, I you know, I, I threw a Super Bowl party the other day. Oh, you right? did. I, yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. Well, that's absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wasn't wasn't that a wasn't that a great game that we were all really satisfied by? Um, and yeah, I feel like that's my uh, you know that I, I haven't become an American citizen, but like I, if if at some point in the future I could have dual citizenship, then I might do. Like I do, I, I love I love being. Here. Were there Brits at the Super Bowl party? Because uh, I wonder many. if, no. like, you, when you're used to watching soccer, if you're watching, go like, wow, this is a high-scoring game. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean... It's 13 yeah. to 3. Well, oh, this, my God. this is really eventful. Um, <laughs> no, we, what we did have was we had... Uh, there's a there's a small toy that somebody bought for me because my friends know me well and it's uh, it's like a little plastic gymnast that you magnetize to a little plastic bar and you press one button to make him spin round and the other button to make him jump off and you got to try and make him stick the landing so that was actually the source of a lot of really good sort of competitive sporting I see. you know thing <laughs> at our Super Bowl party which made up for <laughs> were you for guys the game. betting on this. No, no, there were some prop bets on the game, like what, yeah. like songs Maroon Five would sing. Yes, and, yeah. Um, Did you uh, indulge in any of those I, propositions? Well, well, we all. That's the thing. We were all like, we were all the prop bets. When you looked back at them afterwards, we were just like, oh, we were all just writing down the Super Bowl we wanted to see. I see. And yeah. then like, so it would be like, what do you think the longest <laughs> touchdown will be? We were like, 45, 50, 80 yards, <laughs> one. One yard, one one yard touchdown. You were betting optimistically. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We we're betting with our hearts, which is oh, I, don't I like think that. The That's way interesting. Is Super Bowl Sunday your favorite American holiday? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I mean, I like you guys do. You know, Halloween in a way that is 
uh, insane Is to it? us in England, oh, but like really? amazing, like in the way that I just love. And I'm, I'm wow. in the West Village in New York where the, the parade goes through. Oh, if yeah. If you have never been to that Halloween parade, it is worth it. It's just like we, we're kind of catching up now in England. Are they starting to trick or treat now, or they don't? They, do I that? I've never been trick or treating in my life. Oh, like, no. Yeah. Oh, you poor baby. I know. <laughs> People look at me like I've had a terrible neglected child. I've got to start childhood. giving you candy every um, time you knock on a door. <laughs> and, wow. Um, do yeah. you give out candy do you, when do we, kids come to your house? Yeah, we yeah. did. Uh, a couple of years ago, we did. Oh and, boy, that's uh, gotta be strange, huh? It was great. It was fun, actually, and we like fully like. <laughs> I fully like leaned into because I was like, it's all the kids in my building, so they all know I'm there. So, oh, you know, I so see. I just, like, so I just like fully leaned into the Harry Potter thing. We carved like a lightning bolt in a pumpkin and just like ah. put that outside. So and you then, have like, little Harry Potters coming to your door. We did at the beginning of the night. What was great was that at the beginning of the night, it was just like four-year-olds and their parents and like seven or eight-year-olds. And then clearly, like, word spread in the building that we were answering the door. And so by the end of the night, it was just teenagers in no costume. Uh, like, yeah, like, yeah. Can I have candy? <laughs> like, um, yeah, it was, there was a lot less effort. There are some it. towns that are making it illegal for teenagers to trick or treat. Like, what? once you hit 13, there's no more knocking on doors. You're not allowed to do it anymore. That I, seems a shame. It yeah. seems a shame, but I kind of agree with it. I don't know. I, some of it, you know, it, you at least have to wear a, a costume. You have to wear a costume, otherwise yeah. you put no effort. And a hat's not a costume, by the way. A baseball cap is, does not what count about as a costume. What about just a mask? Uh, with nothing, with no like uh, no, no other a, effort has been made. That's a robbery. That's not. A, <laughs> that's, those people just as people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't even open the door when those people come nah. to the door. <laughs> how, so you said you did this play for how many weeks? I think we did. Uh, we did about three months, of the, four, three four months of the show. Yeah. I know you. You're, you have a girlfriend. Yeah. And I'm curious about this, and I've asked a couple of people, and I want to see what your answer to this is. When you are in a serious relationship with someone yes. and you're doing a play for that long a period of time, yeah. how many times are they expected to come to see you at the play? Um, I mean, I think, like, once at the beginning, mm -hmm. like, either in previews or on opening night, and then once near the end, so they can go, it's grown so much, it's got so much better. <laughs> like, Two is the number. And I think, and any other time past that is a bonus. Uh, I that's think Erin came and saw the show, I think she came four times, actually, which is Oh, pretty, wow. Yeah, yeah, It was only 85 minutes long. I mean, it's Dude. not... We're not taking time out of our life. So the over-under, mm -hmm. those two and a half on that prop bet. On yeah, that I bet. think so. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. absolutely. Right. Two and a half minimum. <laughs> That's um, very... And then when famous people come to the show, do you feel compelled to greet them after the play? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, particularly if it's, if it's someone you're, like, excited about meeting. I mean, we had Chelsea Clinton come and see the show, which is... Nice. Whenever there's, like... Anybody related to like not whenever it's not like an actor who's famous, whenever it's something like we're, we're sort of we're not unimpressed by actors, but we just meet each other. You know them so all. Yeah, but yeah. when it's somebody from like a different world, that's when we all get sort of I very. See. I personally get very nervous and excited, uh -huh. um, but I'm more likely to like if it's a director or an actor in the audience or someone who might like give me a job one day. Uh, that's when I get nervous. <laughs> Is I'm that like, true? That's when I go to a place of just like analysis after every line of just like I'll say a line, they'll be like. Oh, that was terrible. They'll hate that. Oh, really? <laughs> like, yeah, a little bit. But wow. then, so I don't, I don't generally get told if anyone's in the, sh in, in, in seeing the show until like three quarters of the way through the play, yeah. and then I'll just like say, is anyone in? And because if it's, you know, it's, you're almost done by then. If it's either gone well or not, you're not gonna. You're very neurotic. I feel yeah. like, like, <laughs> like maybe if you'd received more candy as a child, you wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.